You probably know her best from the starring role in HBO's award-winning series that I never miss, Insecure. Actress Amanda Seals has done it all in the entertainment world. She was a child star on Nickelodeon, an MTV VJ, and in 2019, she became the second black woman to ever have her own HBO comedy special. And that is not all. Amanda has a podcast, a book, a comedy tour, and somehow she found time to earn a master's degree in African-American studies at Columbia University. While Amanda has had many milestones, more than most people have had in a couple of lifetimes, it's her unfiltered takes that earn her millions of fans and a few foes on social media. Take a look. In my humble opinion, when you have the power to prevent people from hurting others and you don't exercise it, you're no longer a good person. And I know some people might be like, what? That's not true. That is true. There's a lot of men who have it twisted because they think being a provider and providing stability is only related to funds. When in actuality, providing stability to your home is not just about providing financial stability, but it's about providing emotional stability. And so if you think that creating a stable, emotional, safe space in your home is not your responsibility, then baby, you don't need a queen. You need a nanny. <laughs> Everyone, please welcome to the Tam Fam, the true multi hyphen talent, Amanda Seal. I, told, I saw Amanda behind, and I said, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you until you walk out. It you was our wedding amazing. day. Yes. Oh, it was like our wedding <laughs> like, day. Oh, my God, don't look at me. <laughs> Speaking of, I mean, listening to when you said, you don't need a queen, you need a nanny. Listen, you know what's funny is that, so my man was at the gym, and someone came up to him shortly after that video and was like, hey, are you Amanda Seals' man? And he was like, yep. And <laughs> the dude was like, can you just thank her for that video? <gasps> It helped me to understand something my wife has been trying to relay to me in a way that I wasn't able to understand from my wife. So thank her for helping us get on the right page. So I, that is a good one. You know, I always wonder, like, is, did somebody say something to Amanda? Because I'll turn on my social media and suddenly I'll see a video. I'm like, what set my girl off? You know what? Sometimes it's just like, I don't know if it's a higher power or... Dumbledore, I don't know, but <laughs> Gandalf putting the thought in my head, but it's like, it's like something just comes from somewhere and it'll just be like, choom, and yeah. then, you know, we have these devices now where it just comes out, so. Well, the theme of this show, it's not me, it's you, right? Because sometimes people, well, did I say it right? Wait a minute. It's not me. Because, because what we're saying is that so often the world tries to make you change and you say, no, I'm yeah. cool with the way I am. If you're not, that's you. I mean, some days it is me. Like, today it's me. I have an attitude today. So, shout out to all my cancers. I'm in a mood. Mercury's but in retrograde. What is, is it? it? Mercury, I don't know. Mercury, Mercury <laughs> be in microwave whenever it wants to, you know? So, but I think, you know, when it boils down to it, if you're a truth teller, yeah. what do they always say? The truth hurts. And yeah. a lot of people just don't want to receive truths that are going to make them uncomfortable. But we learn that what do we do when we're uncomfortable? We shift. Yeah. If you're uncomfortable in a chair, yeah. you shift. So yeah. we need people that are going to make folks uncomfortable because we need to shift, y'all. What makes you shift? I'm curious. Because, yeah. I mean, listen, it's one thing to be the truth teller. Yeah. What happens when somebody tells you the truth you don't want to hear? Well, when anything is delivered from a place of love, yeah. you got to receive that, you yeah. know? I think some people don't understand how to do that, and it's taken me a long time to learn how to let that love shine through mm -hmm. and let the compassion be a part of the actual delivery. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I nail that sometimes better than others. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, uh, it's so funny because another breaking news story, uh, not funny, uh, but ironic that we're talking about people and how we process truth. You have Kanye West, yay, big announcement that Adidas has uh, dropped him, uh, along with others, his agent, the list goes on and on. Are you surprised? At what? <laughs> no, listen. Well, because so often companies say they will act, but they don't because there's a lot at risk. I'm not saying are you surprised by his actions. I'm saying by the, the um, he said online Adidas would not drop him. He said I think it. there's a lot of things going on, Tam. Right. Well, well okay. yeah, there there's are. There's a lot of things going on. I think there's a certain self-sabotage happening here that mm -hmm. may be purposeful. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think there's also just the reality that this person has for years been saying and doing things that were very problematic. And, you know, he just kind of 
said the wrong thing about the wrong group and things went completely to another level. Uh, I personally feel like he should have been addressed directly a long time ago. Uh, but I think because he is a black person, his anti-black statements were not taken seriously by other groups that may have more power in those positions. But I do feel like when it comes to companies taking a stand, the truth is, is that at a certain point, you have to say like, money isn't worth yeah. us going along with a degradation of people or also of our brand. Right, right, right. No, <laughs> like, sure. Well, I mean, listen, I don't want to go into weeds too much, but I mean, we're not Adidas, but both of us took career stands at different points in our lives mm -hmm. to say, I'm going to take my brand and do something else. And that's mm -hmm. how we first met. We started texting yeah, DM yeah, yeah. and I said, what are you up to? You're like, Tam, I'm so excited. I've got so many new things mm -hmm. ahead of me. Um, with your next chapter, is it as exciting as you thought it would be? Because you got the tour. I mean, you launched like a rocket ship when you bet on yourself. Yeah, I mean, I think it's been really exciting. So I am announcing today that I'm beginning a syndicated radio show with Radio One. Yes! And... Yes! <laughs> uh... <laughs> and, uh, you know, I must, I need to say this because so often we are expected to just take whatever is given and fight for what we deserve. Mm -hmm. You know what, people can show up right from the beginning. Yeah. And Radio One has shown up right from the beginning. Aww. And that, <laughs> that means so much for so many reasons. It's a black owned company, yeah. so that means so much on that level, but then also just as a woman, as a black woman, as somebody who's been in this business as long as I've been, it's so nice to not have to fight for what you deserve. Right. Like, oh, I know what you mean. Right? Well, I think what, and, and to your point, so often you go into these rooms and you're pitching yourself and you're pitching You're yourself. peddling your wares. You're peddling, and, and I said this on the show before when I left my prior employer, I said, I will never beg for somebody to keep me on their team. No. Either you want me on your team Baby. or you don't. And that goes, and that's in life. That's in, in your relationship. That's in friendships. My friend just sent me a, a text before I came out. She said she was starting to prune away friends who didn't appreciate her. Baby, because, you got to fold a right, friendship. Because if you're fold always even convincing your friends of, hey, this or you're in a relationship. So it just doesn't apply to work. It applies to life. And that's what you're feeling in this work situation now. You feel appreciated. Go where you're loved. Go where you're loved. And, and also... One of the best lessons I learned very early in life, which has been a jewel and a gem for me in my process, yeah. is to know when to pivot. And for me, that is when something goes from being a challenge to a stress. Ah, ooh, hold that thought, because I want more on that. When things go from challenge to stress. Also coming up, Amanda calls it a cross between an HBCU homecoming and a family reunion and a revival. What is she talking about? We're going to find out Amanda's new game show after the break. All right, we are live and welcome back. We're with multi-talented Amanda Seals, who also shows up in her authentic self and never feels the need to apologize for it. Amanda's latest tour is called Black Outside Again. That's right. And her game is Smart, Funny, and Black. Black it's and a black. fan favorite of the show. She's not only the writer, talent, she's a producer, creating the graphics, the videos, the marketing as well. <laughs> She is all in. It is a hit. Fans call her tour uplifting, and critics call it a showcase for black excellence. Yes. I love that. I put that master's to work. You put that master's to work. Them student loans is going to good use. <laughs> I love it. I love the name because, of course, um, smart, funny, and black made me think of young, gifted, and black. Mm -hmm. Nina Simone and yes. you know, Aretha Franklin. I said, well, I love the Lorraine intention Hansberry. of that. Yeah. yeah, I love the intention of that. Yes, I mean, I am a very, very, very huge believer that education is the key to our liberation. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why there is such a earnest effort at uh, diminishing it and in some places completely eradicating it. So uh, if you, <laughs> you say things so pointed with a smile, but those words are lethal. Uh -huh. were you, what were you like as a, like a four year old? Were as a like, four year old, yeah. my mother has always said, Amanda was a very intense child. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got this game. So the game, tell me what the, you're setting up the game. Okay. 
Okay. So we got Smart, Funny, and Black going down uh, this weekend. It's our last show of the year. It's going down October 29th in Brooklyn. We have Method Man versus uh, Tamika Mallory. It's going to oh. be the lyricist versus the activist. But here today... you've had, like, the Brad on, our friend. You've had all of these had, celebrities. And we have had Keenan okay. and Kel. We have had... Okay. Well, and I, I, I'm afraid to go on because I don't like getting things wrong. I know. Control freak Virgo. Hi. Okay, but, you but you're going to quiz me. The beauty of the show is that the show is a space for black celebration. Okay. So it's I'm better than the being quiz. wrong. The okay. quiz is going to be testing your knowledge of colloquialisms from black communities across the nation. All right, because I lived in Chicago, Philly, Texas, and I live in New York. Okay, okay. so then you should be all right. <laughs> But I don't know. You okay. don't really be in the hood okay. like that, Tamara. You don't really be in the hood like that. You don't know like where that. I am at, Amanda. Okay. You don't know my streets. Go ahead. <laughs> streets with a Z. Okay. Cameron, the first... The, Tamara, the first word that you're going to be given, you have to, be, you have to tell us what the meaning of the word okay. is and where it's from. Okay. The word is John. Oh, that's easy. Philly. Anything can be a John. That's my John. That could be my girlfriend. You like that John? Uh, uh, ah! All right. We go in. We go in. All right. All right. I lived in North Philly streets. Thank these, you. These rapper hands right here. Okay. North Philly streets over here. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Temple. Shout out to Temple University. Yes. The greatest university in the world. Next word. Wode. Oh, that's New Orleans. Okay, and what does a what is a wode? Wode is your friend. That's my wode. That's it's it's all that. Tim got swag. Oh! <laughs> Hanging out in them streets of New Orleans. <laughs> Shout out, little Wayne. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, my last one. I'm at what a B. I'm gonna get an A. Let's see. <clears> Come <throat> on, we got a most out of time. You're. You heard me. That's St. Louis. No. No. The word is you're. You're. Yes. The audience seems to be... I don't know this one. Is it the loo? Where is it? <clears throat> the word year is a greeting from New York. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're trying to get somebody across the street, up the building, in the window. Okay. Yeah. Issue with that because I live in Harlem. I think that's some Brooklyn <laughs> stuff over there. <laughs> All right. Baby, that's New yeah. York. Right. And you know what? I would I love, love to you. gift you. Okay. Because, you know, even uh. though you didn't get your. Okay, you I got absolutely 100% quintessentially smart, funny, and black. Thank you, so. Amanda. You can catch Amanda the Black Outside Again Tour and Smart, Funny, and Black Game when it hits Brooklyn King Theater on October 29th. And don't miss her new radio show. Yes, the Amanda Seals Show on Radio 1 premiering next month.